In the city of Twin Falls, Radio Rendezvous served as a historic landmark and for many residents in the Magic Valley, an important part of the community. Now, residents hold on to their memories. Yeah, lots of different orchestras that played that are kind of fun. In the late 30s and early 40s, live bands played a significant role in Twin Falls. And KTFI radio station owner Florence Soul Gardner understood that. They wanted a place where they could have live bands, live local bands, and then people to be able to dance. And then they could broadcast that um, on air and air it live so people around um, the town can hear it, but they could also come and dance live to those bands. By 1941, the notable Radio Rendezvous event center was built, providing a space for bands to fill the room with music, people to dance, and radio to be broadcasted. As that era passed, Radio Rendezvous played different roles in the community. They brought in like boxers, they brought in we saw some cooking shows, um, different kind of things to um, get people motivated as a community center, basically, a place where people could hold these um, uh, different events because there weren't a lot of other places that in those years in Twin to be able to do that. In the 1950s, Paul and Betty Cloud turned the venue into a skating rink. Under new ownership, the building became Skateland. Doug Mon says he can still hear the noise the skate made on the hardwood floor. Radio Rendezvous was where you came if you wanted to go skating, and it had this hardwood floor and pretty much a wooden rail all the way around it. Little did he know, years later, he would begin his first radio job in that facility. We had a great big studio with hanging boom mics, a grand piano. It was it was a wonderful space upstairs in this studio. He hosted a show called Souvenirs and Sound, playing music from the 40s and 50s. Looking through the large record collection, Doug found signatures on the albums, then asked his colleague, Walt, what are all these signatures on these albums? And he says, those are the people who, who played here and they signed their albums. There were so many that had albums that they had signed or photos on the wall. You could tell the place was just dripping with history. Doug says eventually some of that luster was lost. I would say that for most of the younger people in the area, they may not realize what an important historic venue Radio Rendezvous really was. But he says he will continue to hold those memories at Radio Rendezvous close to his heart. Evelyn Avitia, Idaho News 6.